Hello, Ruth Vigan here, back with another episode of... I can't get no satisfactory. Last time we uh, finished the production, uh, well, we started the production of the adaptive control units. And I think while we're waiting on that to to uh, get done, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit more exploring. Because I want to find those elusive waterfalls that we see um, off in the distance from our base here and because I feel like I can make more power at that location there we go and I want to take the tractor because it gets uh, it, it travels a little better than the truck does so I went in and put the truck as my truck is now hauling my coal from the base to that coal mine over there I should probably should have shown that but that's okay uh, I put the truck to that and I'm bringing the tractor with me so that the tractor it, uh, it can just go through trees and things little bushes it doesn't get it doesn't hit a tiny bush and and break like the uh, see I hit that barrel bar uh, berry bush and uh, nothing <laughs> and then I hit a rock and I spin but that's okay rocks are not, are not the problem rocks I can I can deal with hitting rocks and spinning out of control it's the hitting of little tiny bushes that, that make me upset. Okay, so let's find a way into this forest and away from that purple swamp biome here. Let's go down here. Oh, hi. Here's a night. Look, there's the waterfalls right there. Boom. You can see them. We're almost there already. Awesome do this. More beasties. Some piggies. Alright, let's just jump right down here. Woo! Wouldn't be able to do that in the truck. This is like dense forest area. Thought I saw a slug off in the distance, but I'm not going to worry about the slug right now. I want to get to the waterfalls. I think it's this way. Oh! Hello, sire. Excuse me. Maybe we should go this way towards the waterfalls, maybe. Oh, wait. Da, 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 da. I think I see water that way. Let's go this way. Bye-bye, pig. Aha. Water! Oh! And a crash. And some more pigs. This is not the waterfalls. But it is water. So we totally could, could put some uh, water collectors in here. Water extractors. And uh, set up some coal mines. Let's uh... Oh, hi, they're coming after me. Hi. Guys are weak. Alright, so we got some coal around here. 500 meters. That's not bad. Let's go see what else we got over here to pick up and uh, get another hard drive, perhaps. I want leaves. I don't want wood. I want modular frames, though. And some iron plates. Some wire. It's like an unsuccessful delivery of goods here. Okay. This is not the part with the hard drive, I guess. Is that out in the water? I reckon it is. Go get that hard drive. All right, we need uh, steel beam. Needs 20 megawatts. Battery broken. Okay, and we need four 
uh, steel beams. All right. So we need to set up a uh, power generator over here, which is no problemo. Hi. Enjoying a nice drink there, buddy. All right, let's uh, put a biomass burner rock chair. And we'll connect that to him. 20 megawatts, right? Is that what you produce? I reckon it is. Let's go grab some leaves. Just has to be enough to keep him burning. Yep, here's 20 megawatts. There's a slug over there in the distance on the other side of the lake. Right over there. And we got ourselves a hard drive. Boom, you're seeing it. All right. This is already a successful exploration here. Okay. There we go, got that. Let's, uh. What was that sound? I don't know. Let's drive this around a little bit. See what else we can find here. Here is a waterfall and some interesting looking plants. Not, let's not fall over the waterfall, but I would like to take a little sneak peek. Oh, there's the waterfalls down there. The big waterfalls. Okay, we're just up a little higher. All right. Well, we, we can go down there at some point, or we can just use this water to... to, uh, to, to create more power. I'm fine with that. There's some quartz. We'll probably need to uh, do something there. Oh yeah, we can dr drive right through it. No problem. Let's grab this quartz. Should I go ahead and go grab that slug over there? Let's do it. Maybe some beasties we have to battle. But... I'm fine with that. Ah! Woohoohoo! <laughs> gotcha! Piggy? Here, piggy, piggy, piggy! Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Alright, so we've got the. Alien carcasses. Let's drop this wood. Don't need that. Okay. Let's grab this slug. Boom. You're seeing it. And what is this, pray tell? Copper? Yes. Okay. I guess let's, uh... Let's find this coal. So, um... Water. We'll need to be... We'll need to make... Several water extractors here, six probably, to uh, to get a nice big factory going. I think we could do six easily here. Oh yeah, plenty of room for six. Plenty of room. So let's continue on to the. Co I wish the nodes that we tracked would stay up longer. I'm too slow on the draw, so takes me a little while. All right, let's go this way. 400 meters this way. That's that's not far at all. We might be able to do this. Set up a little power thing straight away. Two hundred meters. All right. I'm just gonna try to stay on the path if I can. All right. Where is the coal? It should be over here in this clearing somewhere.
Is it just me or I'm just not seeing the coal? Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's right below me. It's just got this big rock on it. Um, I'm guessing we'll have to blow that up somehow with explosives. Ow. Oh, he's got a little friend. All right, this is this is is this coal. It doesn't look like coal. Looks like limestone. I'm confused. It says coal. Looks like limestone. I'm confused. I'm highly, highly confused at this moment. Alright, so we got two normal nodes here, right? Normal node and a normal node. If I put MK2s on there, that's 240 um, coal. And then there's water right over here. So let's go ahead and put on a uh, equipment workshop right here. We're going to do an MK2 miner. I think I might put a beacon up right here. If I have the stuff to make a beacon. And I do. Make a couple. Uh, let's grab one of these beacons. And put it over here. Alright. Configure the baton. This is going to be coal. Alright, so we got coal here. We got a little more coal over here. Now we gotta find that water again. Here's right there. Boom. You're seeing it. I think it's different water, but that's okay. That is perfectly okay. There's some more quartz. Oh man, this would be a beautiful place to set up a little power center. Oh yeah. I need another beacon for this, right? You know, maybe it's just right here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful little lake. Alright, yeah, I can set up uh, three and three would be six. So I could probably even do them this way. There we go. Boom. You're seeing it. Okay, this is what I'd like to do. Get both of these pumps going into, let's say, like a water tower type thing. And then use that water to start one coal factory, which then could power all of these. The trick is going to be getting all these pipes ran in a method that... Uh, Appealing to look at and uh, fully functional. All right, so let's grab lookout tower. Why is that an organization? Okay, so there, there's we got that with three water extractors. You would get uh, 360 water, but the pipe only holds 120. I mean, the pipe will only hold 300, so that's 360. So if we go, if we knock them down to 80% uh, or 75%, then I think we should be able to get full, one full pipe of water out of each set of extractors here. And then, yeah. We need to set up our coal factory over here. I'm thinking we're going to do it like lift it off the ground so we're not on this beach here. And we'll have to clear out these trees. But that'll be fine. That will be fine. Alright, so let's see if we can put in some foundations in between these. So that we can run the pipes down there. He's like, hey man, you put these things in my, in my way, man. Yeah, I did. Sorry about that. 
Okay, there we go. I think, uh, maybe one more. And... Maybe one more. There we go. Not ideal, but I think that will work. Let's grab logistics, stackable pipeline. I wonder, actually, can I do two of these side by side? Can out there. All right, let's let's try this. Let's do him there. Pipeline from him. Oh, come on! Too sh too long. Okay. Why? Why would you connect to the side facing you, you son of a biscuit? Okay. There we go. Lovely, lovely as a doubly. Okay. Let's grab this. Such as that. Okay. And dive! Whee! Diving board! Ooh, that was cool. Guess we don't need oxygen. We just stay under forever. Okay, well, that's cool. Alright, so then now we're going to need these junctions. I know that these are not parallel with this. I know this. It had to be done this way. There we go. Alright, so now let's grab this to him. This to him. Is power production one of my favorite parts of this game? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It, I think it may be. I really enjoy it. <laughs> I really enjoy it. 75. Oh, that's only 90. There we go. 83%. We'll do 83% on all of these. Okay. So that should be all of these guys. Now we need to put up the power poles that are going to serve to... Power all these guys. Let's do... I do one here. One here. All right, so now we need to make uh, the foundations for our coal power plant here. I'm going to go ahead and move this tractor. Oh, hi. There's a bad guy over here. I didn't see. Where are you going? You wanted to fight me, bro. Alright. Let's move this tractor out of the way. I'm not gonna have enough, am I? <laughs> I'm already out of concrete. Well, that was, uh. That was short lived. Okay, well, I won't be making any, uh, coal power plants right now. Unless I can find some limestone close by. Limestone. Oh, there just happens to be some limestone right there! Boom! Alright, so, let's see. For another miner. Yeah, we, we can make this work. Watch this. We're gonna make this work. We need, uh, two of you. And then I need an MK miner. You right there. Alright, now I need a constructor. Down here. That's just going to be making steal some concrete. This guy. All right, and I'm gonna put in a pole right here, as well as a biomass burner, which is fine because we're gonna be using this to. Uh, I think I killed all my leaves, didn't I? Yeah. Dropped all my leaves. We're going to be using this to uh, burn up all my leaves that I get here. So let's go ahead and grab this. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
This conveyor belt. Down from you. It's too long. How about now? Okay. Now what's your complaint? Okay, so now we're making limestone. It's gonna come down here. We making concrete. There we go. That's an MK2 miner. I don't know what kind of node that is. So I'm not sure how much we're gonna be making. But I'm gonna go ahead and put down a storage container right here. Beautiful, beautiful. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start making concrete down here. And uh, let's see, make sure this will have the capacity to sustain both this and that. What it's using four right now. Making concrete for that. And while that's doing that, I guess I can start working on clearing out all this woods. And at the same time, we can use uh, the stuff that I clear out as power for this thing. Um, are you getting all the limestone you need? You're getting more than 45, so I guess I'm guessing that you are. All right, cool. I am curious what type of node this is. So I'm just gonna head up here and take a look. It is a normal node. So he is making, he's making 120 limestone. And he only requires 45, so I could do another one of these guys. I'd probably do almost three. <laughs> Building on the beach is such a joy. Okay. All right, so let's grab, we're gonna need a splitter. All right, so now you go to him go to him there we go. and you go to concrete you go to concrete all right so one will be a little bit short but that's fine we're gonna put in a merger here for all three of these guys So, and then we'll put in the storage container right here. Wow, what a mess. This is just temporary. <laughs> just temporary until I can make some concrete. Alright, so these guys should all start making concrete, no power. All right, so they're making uh, making the concrete now. And I'm gonna pop the wood in here once these leaves burn up, and then I'll go chop some more wood. And then uh, hopefully by the time I get all the woods cleared out, we'll have um, enough concrete to, to build, build some stuff. All right, so I've got this uh, nice little piece of land cut out here. And I should be able to it's a doggo. Hi, doggo. I should be able to put in my raised stuff here. And I shouldn't have to clear any more in this area. Now, over there, I probably will. But let's go ahead and start grabbing some of this concrete here that we've got produced already. Which is not much. But every little bit helps, right? Alright. Let's go back over here. And let's start making the outlines of our base. So we're gonna need, I want it to be angled this way. To run perpendicular to the water here, or parallel rather. I don't remember how big it needs to be for my, for my base, but I'm gonna start off with a 10 by 10. And then we can expand from there because I think that, uh, okay, well there's the problem right there, is that, uh, I'm gonna run into that hill there. So, right, I guess I could go ahead and put in pillar base here. Okay. 
because that I don't want to waste my time and concrete making let's go ahead let's go up to and then we'll put up a uh, do I need a pillar top? That's actually, we're gonna get rid of these. Ah, I did not mean to do that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is grab the regular foundation here. And there we go. That's the beginnings of a beautiful friendship. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. And uh, I guess next episode we will continue to, uh, to clear all this out and uh, build on to this, uh, this new base here. So let me just throw some more wood into the fire here. There we go. Very good. Very good if I was strawberry shortcake. Okay, I got this new buffer. Industrial fluid buffer. Oh, it's huge. What do we need for plastic? Darn you, plastic. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, throw me some likes and leave me some comments. And as always, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.